a very good moon for me, just outside Keswick. Parked just over my shoulder there at the Under Skiddaw car park. For the first time I'm going to go up Skiddaw, the fourth highest summit in England. It's been a really warm night, so I think it's going to be a warm day as well. So I want to get up there pretty early, so I'm going to get cracking. The sun's just coming up. It's just burning off the mist. And you feel like you're the only person in the whole world. Now I think one thing everybody films when they come up here is the old a Celtic cross. It's a memory of two shepherds that used to walk the fells up here. So it's been up here many years, many people have walked past it. Nice to be remembered. Well one thing for certain, the path is very steep going up. Haven't said that when you turn around. It does give you absolutely superb views. It's a bit like the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise gets there eventually. And I would suggest the tortoise has a lot more fun as well. And when you come back, I would say literally not even a quarter of the way back, the path splits into two. One way you can come straight back here, or the other way you can cut across and take in long scale fell, drop down onto the Cumbria way. So at the moment, that's the way I'm thinking I'll do it. So the sun has just broke over the uh, top of the mountains there now and lit up the whole valley down there. All over dirt, water, Keswick. Oh, what a superb sight. And so that's the path coming up there. Nice, like I said, nice and easy to follow, but uh, very, very steep. Like I said before, all the views are looking back. So this is going to be a long and slow climb up because every two minutes I'm just stopping, turning around. Absolutely magical it is. One thing I'm missing on this path is the big rocks and boulders that you get on other tracks, which is very pleasant to sit down and have 10 minutes. There's nothing like that up here. Well, we've been going almost an hour there now, and uh, look at those views. <laughs> now, down in Keswick, I've got a friend who used to work together. Now, she's down there somewhere with her partner, and they're stopping a couple of nights in Keswick. And it's about 10 to 7 there now, I think. And I'll guarantee she'll be sound as a top. And look at what she's missing. Oh, <laughs> the runner puts me to shame mind you a few years ago that would have been me yeah in my dreams look at that there Blencathra absolutely stunning I was very tempted actually to go there this morning the thing is I've been there umpteen times before by myself with friends in a big group and a small group I've been with my grandson I've been with my son so it's a very special mountain for me I really enjoy going up there so I was very tempted to go up by myself perfect conditions maybe it's a final sharp edge I've done it four times so maybe it's the fifth and then uh, a nice swimming scales time having said that like I said I've done that umpteen times before I've never ever done skidor so today's the day now the first third was really tough coming up very very steep and it was just to be honest it was just a slog up second third was a lot better I wouldn't say it flattened out but it wasn't as severe as the first third so it was quite an enjoyable walk on that and you could look over your left hand shoulder the path was so good you could look over your shoulder and you could you know take in uh, Durant Water in Keswick this is the junction here where again I'll have to check my map and view ranger but I have a feeling that's the way I would go over there over the fell to Lonscale fell and then down as opposed to go down this way by the time I get up there and come down again all of a sudden there's going to be troops of people coming up this way and it's going to be nice and quiet over the other way oh 
it's one of them days that you're just so thankful you're alive. It's amazing. Not the most attractive of summit, summits I've ever seen. Having said that, wow, take a look at them views. First one up here. Views all the way around are absolutely stunning. Where I came from, thinking that was Low Man. Come up here, assuming this was Skiddo. Obviously not, because I've got to go down and we've got to go up there. Now that's Skiddo. <laughs> but on a day like this, who cares? <laughs> I'm having a great day, really enjoying it. And about 18 months ago, I was sat on the top of Glen Cathra with my grandson, Harry Metal Man, and we couldn't, we could hardly see each other, never mind our hands in front of our faces. It was absolutely thick of fog. Now, today would have been an awesome day to be up there with him. Shame he put all that work in and he never got a view. I'm certainly not complaining about the views I've got today. And every single one of them has got a name, every single one's got a walk, and he could spend a lifetime up here walking in these hills given that it's the weekend and it's a Saturday morning and it's an absolutely stunning day that's mean that many people to be quite honest I haven't said that made me bloody big mouth so over the distance the mountains we can see over there That's Scotland Dumfries and Galloway my parents used to live for my sister many years ago so a two hour walk up here and uh which is not bad. It's not that far actually, it's just very steep. Yeah, the first third was a slog, but when you get a day like this, the views you get are definitely worth that slog. So top of Skiddo for the first time, and absolutely amazing views, and blessed again with absolutely stunning day. on the summit me and Neil had a good chat all the way up from little man but uh, it doesn't get much better than this <laughs> stunning in this especially over there that, that's insane that I can't believe the we got. yeah yeah what a county lad he was so never know one day I might bump into him again but I was talking the other day to a fellow youtuber uh, Rocky over in Japan American lad, real canny lad he is. And he mentioned before about maybe his one day travelling to the UK and uh, unsure about the landscape, what he'd see, whether it was worth coming over. But I'll tell you something, in the UK, if you get a decent day, you get some nice weather, the views are absolutely stunning. So if ever you do make it over here, Rocky, uh, and you fancy coming over here, doing a bit of a hike, give us a bell. We'll get some of it sorted out. Well, it's a real nice walking on here. Only had a couple of trips, but uh, so I think in the last 
10 days, I think, I've done three of the four highest summits in England. The well, funny thing it was, me and Mrs Metalman went up to uh, Craster on the Northumberland coast two days ago. Quite a long journey up there, about two hours, three quarters of the way up there. All of a sudden I needed the facilities. So I pulled over into a lay-by, nobody about, but I thought, oh, I'd better climb over a little barrier and there was like a little ditch down there. I thought I'd climb down there so nobody can see us. So I took one step over there, went head first <laughs> down in the ditch brambles, nettles, thistles but as I went down my right foot got caught in some grass and it bent and twisted backwards how on earth I didn't really seriously hurt myself I do not know and I thought talk about ironic two days before I'd been at Scarfell Pike the highest summit of England got up there and got down there challenging route as well not a scratch and then I stopped in a lay-by for a quick gypsies and nearly broke my leg Unbelievable. <laughs> so that's where we parked there. Under Skiddo car park. But the way I went was from there all the way up here. Uh, little man. And then all the way up to Skiddo. Now we could come down exactly the same way. But to make it a bit more interesting, cut across here. Over at Long Sail Fell down there and all the way down the Cumbrian way and back this way It'll be a bit more boggier but uh, either way I think I've got to give it a go anyway at the end of the day what could possibly go wrong <laughs> oh god look at that view over there of Dermot Water that is absolutely immense so there's a few more people there are going up as you would expect at the weekend and on such a glorious day and that's where I was before and that's the the way down but this is the split here in the, the path and that's the way I'm going to take very pleasant walking actually because it's uh, compared to the rock it's uh, nice and soft on your feet and it's very very quiet as well so I can't view range I'm absolutely bang on track and that little mound there, well, where the two guys are, are heading, is a sail how. So that's where we came down from. And I'll tell you something, this is absolutely gorgeous walking this. To see the two mini summits up there. I was at this morning. But this is great. So we're dropping down from uh, Skiddaw, which I think, I think it's uh, 932 metres, I think it is. Uh, just over 3,000 feet. And they were dropping down to, to sail how over there well, they had 666 meters so a bit of a drop down but uh, in comparison to the, the way up very very gentle and walking on this grass it's absolutely bliss it really is i'm really enjoying it but as you walk on you can take in uh, all the scenery around you like as well which uh really does make a massive difference it's gorgeous so yeah it is a bit boggy down here i just talked to a, a young lad there who says it's very boggy at the top as well now we're heading up the top of there uh, sail how and have a break there i've earned it <laughs> well you can see sail how on there there was a few stones uh, the only stones for what appears to be miles and there's somebody sat on them so I was going to have my lunch there so I've walked about 200 yards off the track there because I've seen these uh, stones here so very pleasant place for me to have a, a lunch stop I think after my lunch I'm heading down there you can see a few people walking up I'm expecting to meet up with the Cumbrian way and that will lead us all the way back down to the car but at the moment I'm just going to enjoy a very pleasant lunch so as you drop down it's getting warm there now so it looks like the track down there apart from a handful of people it's completely deserted absolutely gorgeous on a day like this but uh, in winter a bit bleak I should imagine apart from the sound of the sheep they cannot hear a thing anybody at all what a glorious day you can see the track going along the side of the valley there 
and this is an absolute gorgeous walk absolutely gorgeous and if I ever did this walk again from the same car park I think I would come up and down this way the walk through the valley is absolutely brilliant I really enjoyed it so yeah it's a, it's a lot longer to go up this way but if you've got all day I would definitely say come up this way come come down the same way because it is an absolutely magical walk so the first people I've seen in about two hours I think you can see where we came from there and it's very pleasant going walking on here got the sun on my face but compared to going up <laughs> slog 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 just staring at the stony ground all the time until I stopped and turned around this is amazing walking I've gone up I've gone down and they've spun around a few times but lovely absolutely lovely and just as we walk out of the valley there we turn a corner and we'll see Derwent water so a very welcome sight I've been going about uh, six hours there now I think and uh, just enjoy myself and walking through the valley there wasn't a breath of wind the uh, sun was in my face all the time and it was starting to get really warm so just starting to flag a bit now we've seen uh, Durant water a boost of energy shouldn't be too long now to back to the car so the car park is just over there you can see the way I went up this morning the zigzag path going all the way up there so when you come out of the car park you've got the option of turning left where the signpost says skidor and going up that way or continuing straight on and come the way that I've came through the valley all the way to skidor house take a left there and then up over the tops as always thank you very much for watching it's always very much appreciated and uh, I, I think we've got a walk coming up a group walk with the uh, fat boys so uh, that'll be definitely something to look forward to. So until then, I'll see you then.